Yes, we had the swim come through, and we're going to have a little light icing tonight. We'll get to that. But first, let's talk about the winds, because if you left us on Friday, you said, well, where did those wind gusts go? Basically, by Saturday, it was clear the strongest winds would be to our east. And you can see Bar Harbor uh, with the highest wind gust in the state. So it was Washington, Hancock County. The rest of us, you know, a breeze, right? 20s for gusts, that's nothing really, 30 in Sanford. And you can see that over the last 12 hours, we've had some really heavy precipitation. And that's one thing that was consistent to the forecast even as of last week is that we had a lot of two to three inch rainfall amounts, some fours, a couple of fives too. And we're done now with the precipitation, a couple of flurries back into the mountains. We do still have a flood warning the McKinney back uh, river for tomorrow morning will be the crest. So this is valid until 730 tomorrow night. We'll know though by tomorrow morning whether or not this is an issue. Looks like it'll be on the minor side of things. It doesn't look like it'll be into moderate or major flooding zones. So our buyer forecast here through the rest of uh, the evening. Temperatures drop down to freezing or below and that's where we get back to where Sammy wanted me to start minutes ago, which is that it'll be cold enough for a little bit of black ice out there. We've had a couple of those events in the last two weeks and I think this is one of those situations where it wasn't quite windy enough to dry all that moisture up. So just be aware of that late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is a bright day. Temperatures in the mid 30s, couple of upper 30s, 20s to around 30 in the mountains. And then we stay kind of in that zone again on Tuesday with a few more clouds around temperatures into the mid 30s. We've got an Arctic front lurking around by Tuesday evening, but it takes until really Wednesday, middle of the day into the afternoon to clear the coastline. Once it does on Wednesday night, temperatures fall quickly into the teens and single digits, and we're much cooler on Thursday, barely getting to 30 degrees. That's not where I thought it was at all. Really hitting it off uh, the park here, Sammy. You're I think, so old. you know, they have, um, this is going to be a good one for Emmys, I think. Okay, so. <laughs> High pressure in place and we're quiet straight through the week. We start to moderate temperatures Friday, Saturday and Sunday and we're into the 40s, which is pretty nice. We don't have our next storm until seven days from now, which is Monday. It looks like a rainer right now. It's also seven days away. So who's to be sure? I think the only truly kind of overly cold period here is going to be Thursday morning through the middle of the day where we struggle to get out of the 20s. It is more comfortable for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. At this point, it looks like a pretty nice weekend. I mean, for mid December mm -hmm. to be in the mid 40s with a mixture of sun and clouds is about as good as you're realistically going to do. So it looks nice. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Keith.